I'm going to do a, a number of videos on this topic that is integrating by parts. So the question is integrate x times sine 3x dx. Now the formula of integrating by parts is this formula. So let me make it bigger. This is integrating by parts. The formula says integration of f of x times g prime x dx is f of x times g of x minus integration of f dash x times g of x dx. Now basically this has come from the product rule. Okay, in differentiation you, you should be knowing the product rule. Uh, f of x times g of x dash or the derivative of product of two function is is the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the first function or oh, sorry the second function this is the product rule now if you integrate both sides if you integrate uh, the left hand side you get f of x uh, g of x and this is integration to both these functions now if you make this the subject that is integration of f dash x, uh, or you can also make this the subject, it doesn't matter. You can make any one the subject. If you make this the subject, this is what I've done. If I made this a subject, you get uh, f of x times g of x minus f of x times. This also implies uh, integration of f of x times g prime of x dx if I make this the subject then the same thing the slight difference is f of x times g of x minus integration of f dash x times g of x dx so this is what I've used so <clears throat> so there's a rule of thumb that uh, generally you should take the more complicated function as g dash x. So I'm going to take uh, uh, sine of x as g prime. So let us start like this. This is how you should start. So you say f of x is x, and I'm letting g prime or g dash of x is equal to sine of x, sine 3x, sorry. So now you differentiate this so that is f prime of x is 1 and here you integrate so when you integrate g prime you get the function so here you integrate so here you differentiate and here you integrate so when you integrate sine 3x so the coefficient of sine is the coefficient of x is 3 so you have to multiply by one third times this is when integrating you're using the reverse chain rule and integration of sine x is minus cos 3x which is nothing but minus cos 3x over 3 okay so using this rule can i say integration so i have let f of x as x and g prime of x as sine 3x so I'll rewrite so this therefore integration of x sine 3x dx using the formula is f of x times g of x. Okay, f of x is x times g of x is uh, I will put a minus here cos 3x over 3 minus integration of f dash x which is 1 times g dash sorry g of x is minus cos x over 3 so i'll make this plus cos cos 3x over 3 okay so this is nothing but minus x over 3 times cos 3x uh, and integration of so this is one third times uh, integration of cos x is uh, sine 3x but you got a coefficient of 3 years so to multiply by again one third times sine 
3x plus c. This is nothing but minus x over 3 cos 3x plus 1 ninth of sine 3x plus c. So this is the integration of x sine 3x dx. Now if you want to check whether this answer is right, you can differentiate the right hand side and you'll get this back.